Welcome then to Widget Space. There are hundreds of new services cropping up everywhere to supply you with fantastic widgets to put into your website or into your start page or even on your desktop. So there's no shortage of sites for you to find widgets. Now, at the center of the widget universe, there are maybe two key contenders that are serving up hundreds of widgets. The first of which is Widgetbox and they have got such a vast amount and a great kind of interface for you to access them. The second is Google Gadgets. Gadgets are Google's word for widgets and they also have a great amount too. Let's look at those two key services in a bit more detail. The first then Widgetbox which has a really nice interface as we've said. Very easy to navigate, very good looking and lots of previews of everything. On the left hand side you've got categories which obviously helps you to find the kind of widget that you're looking for. Is it to do with the blogosphere, information, money makers? This is a very easy quick way to get hold of those widgets. Then over on the right hand side you've got new releases and also uh, most popular widgets and the top rated by the users widget. So we've got a social dimension here in Widgetbox. It's not just a place to find them, it's also a community. In the center of the page you've got featured widgets, those that have been featured. And as with all of the ones that you'd find in the search, you get a full description, an average rating, and the categories that that widget fits into. If you click on the preview button, which will then pop up, you can also view an instant preview of exactly what that's going to look like when you put it in your website. You can interact with that fully. So this is a great feature to find out if you want to try it before you have a go and actually embed it into your blog. Let's take a look at Google then. Google has a much more straightforward, simple interface. It's nevertheless very easy to navigate. As you'd expect with any Google product, at the top, very central, we've got the Google search bar. So you can tap in a search query and find the kind of widgets you're looking for. Just like Widgetbox also, we've got categories on the left-hand side and you can browse by popularity. So those things are pretty similar, if not a little bit less complex than in Widgetbox. If we zoom in, have a look at the widgets themselves, you don't get a description on the front page. Instead, you get a thumbnail and you can click through to get a further description if you click on the actual title. Um, alternatively, you can just dip straight in, think you like the look of that, click add to your web page and the next thing you know, a very simple dialogue comes up for you to basically customize that widget, which is very, very straightforward. Basically, you can change the border, change the title, and then you click on get the code and you're basically ready to go. Nothing could be simpler or easier.